In this video, me and Locke are looking to uncover some of the hidden gems of the rather saturated market that is the photography and videography realm. Will these bits of kit improve your creative process? Well, we'll just have to find out. But first of all, shout out to sponsors of this video, Skillshare, an online learning community that offers thousands of inspiring classes for those curious about learning and creatives alike. How? All right, we're ready. Whew. Ready to go. Locke, Locke's been setting up three cameras. That's his excuse anyway. Yeah, I, think, I think you said you said you, you want to take a look and there's a, on the Atomus and uh yeah. 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 All I've got is the Panasonic I can't remember the name, it's, it's some like silly geeky name. But it's the cube camera. Some something like B B T B T M eighty five and uh yeah, something BTS. like BTS. Boom boom boom. No, it's the cube camera that looks a bit like the Z cam. So anyway. Super Boca Bros is back! Uh, Yay. Finally, after like half oh, a year. Oh, amazing. I mean, all this, I mean, because now it's lockdown again, back here, we've got lock up there, and we've got lock down here. Oh. I think I be, might be a bit overexposed. Shit. Hang on. Oh, this is going well, isn't it? Oh, so, someone said he's, he's got a simple one camera setup. I think the trouble is I, I am using the Nikon Z6 II because I just got it yesterday. So I think, yeah, let's make use of it. So we're both using a camera, a new camera that we are not familiar with. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's why. With my Panasonic Q camera, I've got uh, two SD card slots. Hopefully this won't overheat, but I've got it con on continuous auto focus. So, you know, I don't know what it's going to be like. <laughs> I'm using the Nikon Z6 II, the autofocus is really good. But this is on F4, -focusing. it's micro four thirds, and I've got a white wall just behind me, so surely... You don't know, you don't know. I mean pass on the camera. I mean, I like pass on the camera, that's oh. not their autofocusing. Oh. Okay, moving on to the next bit. We started doing a segment before called Lock Review Shit which is uh, kind of self-explanatory. Well, no, it's not self-explanatory <laughs> no. because you're not actually reviewing shit. Locke is reviewing shit as in, you know, stuff that might be good, might be bad. So the first thing, idle cam. Oh, wow, look at that box. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Like air, air well, it we looks like a, Yeah, yeah, it looks like a Japanese bento box as well. <laughs> is this the best vlogging camera you can get? Look at that. Whoops. What's that? Oh, it's a lens cap. It's a gimbal. It's what DJI hoped the Osmo Pocket would be like. If it didn't fit in the pocket. It's so hang a, on. It's That's an action camera with on the gimbal. Uh, kind of. It's got my name on it. Yeah. What engraved or what? Cut Sharpie. The blue. I think uh, laser, laser engraved. I guess. They said it's 20, oh. 24 k gold as well. I feel bad now. It's good. And then this okay. got a flip screen. Wow. Can I just say Locke isn't getting paid to, to, to do this? I mean, not getting paid to talk about this. I mean, not getting paid to say nice things about it. The really, the really shocking thing is that it's an interchangeable lens camera. Look at that, whoops. Yeah, I didn't broke it. This is, uh, this is... Um, so you can oh, see I the sensor? The... Yeah, you can. This package got two lenses. You got the normal lens. I forgot. I forgot the focal length. And then you got a fisheye lens. Yeah, interchangeable lens camera. That's something I don't understand. Is that it got a it got an extra on off button for the gimbal, just the gimbal. So you can turn off the gimbal and then turn on the camera. Now the camera is on, and the gimbal doesn't work, and you can. Separately turn on the gimbal. Uh, oh, I love those noises. But the proof is the pudding. In the pudding. Like that. In the pudding. Yeah. So we got the. So how's I've, the pudding taste? I've shot some. Oh, here is. Test footage. Here it is. Oh, you're wearing a mask. Oh. So this is kind of a low light test. It's kind of low light, not extremely low light in a shopping mall in Hong Kong, and this is a. Uh, and also the sound test as well. Oh, it's not focused on your face. No, that's that's the first thing that is. So the low light no. seems okay here, but actually it's using a slower shutter speed. Even though I have turned off the low light low light shutter speed thing in the menu. I mean, also the pocket is 
The Osmo Pocket is um, it's actually focused on your face. It's flatter. Skin colors are not too bad on the idle cam. <laughs> yeah. But then the audio is pretty bad. Well, I can tell you one thing is that you can change the camera, uh, the, no, the lens on the, on the idle cam. Still, if I have to turn it off, that's good. Put it out. Hang on. Okay, yeah. Although they fish shy, but that's what you get from uh, GoPro as well, isn't it? Oh. And then, of course, you got this thing. Wow, uh, that's. <laughs> that must have looked like some dodgy adult toy or something with that rabbit on top. <laughs> you also got this ring light, which is great for beauty shot, isn't it? What's well, refreshing? Connection is not very good, okay. That doesn't really make it that bright, does it? No. It doesn't really seem to work. Even though it's dark, the, 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 that ring light thing doesn't really work. And then because the ring is so small, it doesn't work like a yeah. ring light. Finally it has it outside. It's quite wind, a little bit wind. And then it got, we got traffic noise as well. So we'll see how it performs on audio. Sounds is so bad. I mean, uh, it got a whatever phone I mean a wind block thing doesn't work. Wind block thing. Yeah, so now it got wind block. How is that? But the idle cam can use external mic. See, let's see how is that working. So, oh, there's some kind of wind, so you can see the you can hear the difference. So, how much is this? Oh, that's the that's the best thing. It's the um, you don't know <laughs> the go the go package. This with dual lens with a beauty light and the case. It costs three ninety nine, which is more than the well, pocket. Three dollars ninety nine. Three nine? Huh? Three hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, three hundred ninety nine. What is is the whole case gold or what? And for reference, the new DJI Pocket 2 is just 349 Yeah, affiliate links down below. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you got, you got more stuff than uh, Osmo Pocket. So you can actually get this just by itself, just one lens. It still costs 375 Yep, so okay, moving on to more shit. You've got more shit to show me, haven't you? This one, they, uh, they sent it to me for a really long time. This is a grip gear. <laughs> this is kind of like the, the cheapest uh, motorized slider. I mean, the first time they sent it over, I, like, I was like, oh, actually, that's, that's quite shit because it is really plasticky. <laughs> but that's what this segment is all about. The thing is, it works. Kind of. I mean, it's not, it's not the best, but it works. <laughs> because I have been shooting um, slider shot with that. Over here, I was shooting it with uh, RX100. I mean, it kind of like it, they try to make it the, That's... The, the cheapest they can do. I mean, because the, the thing is really plastic. It's really just like a toy. That looks like something you just put curtains on. <laughs> kind of. So on top, it's just a, a digit because this is for to set the speed of the motor and then you press which direction it want to go. You want it to go and at the end of the well, it will go back as well. Okay. Does it... Okay, what kind of weight can it take? Uh, I have to check it later, but you definitely we'll can't put, it on put the screen. a... You definitely can't Isn't put a um, full-frame camera. It's more okay. for mobile phone, compact camera, maybe um, those APS-C size camera. Well, hang on. It just does that. It doesn't rotate, ro you no. know. No. But how come you show me one where it rotates in? Huh. That is when you, when you, like, you turn it off. Oh, also, you can disengage the the gear so it yeah. you can do it manually as well oh oh i see it here i've got it now yeah it's tabletop. a little tabletop thing yeah tabletop thing so you use the motor just yet and put it on the ah. wheel and then it yeah it do that well hang on um, why is it wobbling it's wobbly yeah it wobbles hmm. a bit probably the wheel is not completely wrong 
but then I stabilize it and it works. I actually do it for my A7C review. I actually use this for that. Yeah. So it kind of watching the set it that you set up this, it kind of like faster than a slider with a panning head. You don't have to no set software, up the, you just yeah, there's no software, you just do it manually. You just try to adjust the angle of the wheel here. Uh, the problem is when you push it around, the angle change a bit. I mean, the, it shift a bit, so you can't do a repeat uh, movement. Yeah. You know what? That's actually all right. I, I was starting to say- Isn't it? it? That's not bad. Isn't pretty... it? Especially if you consider the price for this set, this, this full set, this is, this is around 150 to 183 US dollars, come, uh, depends on where you get it. And if I look at BNH for a cheapest motorized slider, I found the GVM Professional Video Aluminum Alloy Motorized Camera Slider. <laughs> it is aluminum. 199. So it's a little bit more expensive than this, and you only got a slider. But this set, you got a slider, you got a dolly, it and it still can, it, it still can pan because you can just put yeah. this on over there, yeah. and then you got a panning head. I have to say, it looked shit. It looks shit. And it looked weirdly shit. Some, some parts of it. Um, are not perfect, but I, I like uh, it's it's likable because you can take this out. It's not too heavy, right? I guess it's not too heavy. No, it's really really uh, really light, and it doesn't take up much the, the, space. It's a bloody curtain rail, <laughs> and then this is really toy like. But I like it. I like it. That's that's um, all right. Oh, Peyton, so, two thousand and seventeen. Well, there we are. Lock review shit. We managed to find one good shit and one <laughs> just shit shit, so... I think you still got one more thing from you. What do you mean? The camera strap with a hard on. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Oh yeah. This no. one... You are like watching some... Kai Reveal Shit! Shit! <laughs> okay, so what have I got here? I've got the uh, strap on that turns hard. It's the hard on strap on. It's, it's in it's in soft it's in soft mode a minute. <laughs> it's very floppy. Look at that. It's not excited. Whoops. Okay. But once you turn, once you flick that switch, once you turn it some, on. Sometimes I wish I had a switch like that. All it takes is a flick of the switch. Um. Look at that. No stroking. So the idea is it turns into a solid, almost solid. <laughs> but uh, not bipod. Yeah, bipod. It's got two legs, so you, you, you put it on, you put it on the floor, and then it will support your camera of uh, a, a certain weight or less. As a strap, not so great. As a tripod, well, it hasn't got three legs, so it can't work as a tripod. As a, as a bipod. Support, no, it rock a bolt. I guess their thinking was also maybe that you could use it as a, I don't, they didn't mention it specifically, but maybe you could use it as a, a, a vlogging stick. So you can you can stiffen it up like this. Let's get hard. Why is it not getting hard? <laughs> oh, it got that's, that's the first time I've ever. That's the first time I've said that. So it's like that. It's like a you know you can use it as a, a vlogging uh, rather Gorilla than. Gorillapod, you don't even strap. have to lock it down. You don't have to turn it on or off. It just works. So you don't like it. Shit. I've comment on in your <laughs> I have comment in your video. Okay, so there we are. Um, yeah, I've got no more shit. I've just got these. Thanks for watching our shit, and stay That's tuned. We, we, yeah, stay tuned. We are we will try to do another one next month, which is the end of the year, the best camera or whatever, something like that. We 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 we're, we're aiming to before the end of yeah. 2020. Yeah. So we'll, thanks for your we'll, we'll continued support. <laughs> thanks for your support. Love you. Good night. Thanks. Good morning. See you again. Yeah. Bye -bye. Good. Good. Hard good on. night or good morning, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Morning oh. glory strap. 
So one last shout out to Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of lessons, including this one, especially handy if you want to know more about how to take street photos. Craig Whitehead, I know this guy. He's got lots of insightful tips in this fabulous set of street photography lessons, which you can get full access to and many, many more for less than $10 per month. So yep, yeah, you can get access to over 25,000 classes and the first 1,000 to click the link in my description box below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Yay! Because this episode, we are going to just talk about all the camera we missed the last half a year. So yeah, just to kind of catch just, up, isn't it? Yeah, catch up. So let me just start talking about the Panasonic S5. When it got a face for it to focus, it focused really well. But when it doesn't have a face, put Who's something not got a face? in front of it. What do you mean? Who? No, everyone's objects. got a face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Panasonic is still just... <laughs> I mean, it focuses really well on my face whenever it detects a human. But then... Oh, come on. I, I kind of still like the S5. I think it's great. And I think it it's is. the best value for money when it comes to 4K camera for shooting uh, video. And it probably has video. the best kit lens ever. The cheap kit lens. Yes. I mean, when we talk about cheap kit lens, because this... 24 to 60 millimeters, the zoom range is no. great. I mean, it's... It's 20 to 60, isn't it? 20 to 60. What did I say? Yeah, I mean, you 20 said 24. Yeah, 20 to 60. Y- That's really great. It's great for vlogging, great for a lot of yeah. things. It's not constant aperture, 3.5 to 5.6, but doesn't really matter. So it's really light. The funny thing is that the S5 is probably really good for vlogging, and but then they didn't really say it is a flocking camera because they have another flocking camera which is a G100 or G110 you have tried that mmm croptastic I mean given the choice of G100 or ZV1 I would go for the ZV1 of course but given the choice of ZV1 or something else I'll go for something else <laughs> the ZV1 <laughs> is good it's, it is really good I mean, it's I good mean, you can use I, I have shot a whole video with it or the DJI Oz, no, the DJI Pocket. No, pocket. no, no, no. Yeah, the DJI Pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's not DJI Osmo got... Pocket anymore. You still put it on your video I know, title. I know. S- somebody corrected me. Some <laughs> somebody left a comment saying, "Oh, no, it's not co- called a DJI Osmo Pocket anymore." DJI Pocket. It, it kind of to me, it doesn't really make much sense. So that's why I kept calling it Osmo because it should be an Osmo Pocket. Yeah, because Osmo. What is a Pocket? Yeah, this DJI Pocket. What's that? Now DJI make Garmin now. <laughs> yeah. it, it'd be like, you know, the Steve Jobs reveal when he gets the <laughs> iPod Nano out of his pocket. Oh, but pocket. instead of it, instead of bringing out something out of the pocket, it'll be just like, it's, the it's pocket. Here, the DJI Pocket. The Pocket. <laughs> yeah, here you go. <laughs> anyway, yeah. let's talk about Sony. Because <laughs> we, we just talked about the Sony set we yeah. want. Time is money. Sony yeah. SV1 and then uh, Sony also released the A7S3 really good they just listen to you the thing is whatever you want they give you that they change it um, the, the flip out screen they change the menu the newer A7C doesn't get the new menu it got less button than A6000 it should burst slower than A6000 uh, oh you got a RX100 Wheelfinder, it's so small. I still want it though. <laughs> it's, it's, you still want it? Yeah, it's small and light for full frame camera. I mean, someone in my comment sessions put it really good, that put it really well, that he said that it's, it's, A7C is a camera that I don't mind have one, but I, don't, I won't buy one. Yeah. And then talking about cameras where you really want, but will you buy one? C70. It's just a better tool for taking video, just ergonomically. I mean, the thing is, I find with cine cameras, okay, yeah, the dynamic range is good. Yeah. But sometimes a big part of it is just built in ND filters. It's just so convenient. I mean, I think it's fantastic, but I don't know if I'd get it because it's just a little bit much money. Uh, The R5, R6, yeah, it's cheaper, but... (laughs) Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? It's one of those. It's kind of one of those, if you shoot stills and a little bit of video, then yeah, that's fine. Hmm. We'll see. I mean, the R6 
new firmware updates just released and then people claim that it's already improved the overheat issue a lot. So we'll so, see. Uh, I remember you said a long time ago, this was before EOS HD came out and said, oh, it's probably on the time or some shit. I remember you said it, you, you called out and you? you texted me and said it. I think it must be because it, it, it turns itself off really on the dot. Yeah. It is. It doesn't really matter if I do it on my rooftop or indoor. It just cuts off after straight 20 minutes. He's not tweeting that <laughs> he expects Canon to apologize to him. <laughs> yeah. No, he just he's, he expects Canon to apologize to everyone, not just him. He expects Canon to do, you know, not just a normal bow. Right. It has to be like... 180. Like, Some yoga, some yoga shit. <laughs> kissing their feet, kissing their own feet. 